The 10 Coolest Things About Mac OS Ventura Apple's upcoming OS lets you recall messages and emails after you send them, use your iPhone's camera for video calls you take on a Mac, and more. Apple announces a new Mac OS version at WWDC, releases it as a public beta a few weeks later, updates the beta a few times, and finally offers it as a download for every compatible Mac, sometime in the early fall. Mac OS Venture is the name of Apple's new operating system for the Mac, the successor to the current Monterey version. Venture looks to be a welcome update, but not a transformational one like 2020's Big Sur, the first version with support for Apple Silicon, and the first with the elegant user interface that Apple has continued to use with minimal changes in Monterey, and now Venture. While Venture likely won't change your life, it will probably make it easier and more productive. If you have an Apple developer account, which costs $99 per year, you can download a beta version now. If you're a curious user and want to test the public beta when it arrives, you owe it to yourself to be cautious. Instead of installing it as an upgrade to your existing Monterey system, use the disk utility to create a new volume for it on your disk and install it there. 1. Stage Manager the coolest looking feature in Venture is one that helps you focus on your work by moving the current app to the middle of the screen, while moving all your other open windows to a stack of miniature images lined up on the left. In effect, they're at stage left waiting in the wings until you click on one, at which point it takes center stage, while the previous center stage app moves to the left. You turn on this feature from the control center in the menu bar. Presumably you'll be able to assign a keyboard shortcut or gesture for it also. Apple made this feature fancier looking than it needs to be. The miniaturized windows aren't flat, but look as if they've been rotated 60 degrees. The perspective effect makes them look as if they're receding into the desktop. It's distracting and works against the feature's goal of helping you focus. Maybe Apple will add an option to change it, maybe it won't. 2. Continuity Camera Continuity camera on Mac OS Ventura will allow you to use your iPhone as a wired or wireless camera mic for your Mac. This can help you look your best if the webcam on your Mac captures lower quality images than your iPhone, and it also gives you more options for how to position and use your iPhone as a webcam. Notably, your iPhone is treated as any other webcam, so you should be able to use it in any app that accepts camera mic input. Apple has also done some software work to enable features like Studio Light, which artificially dims your background and lights up your face, and Desk View, which taps into the iPhone's ultra-wide camera, to display a second camera feed of what's on the desk in front of the camera. This also means you can now use Apple's center stage feature, which uses the ultra-wide camera and software magic, to intelligently crop the camera on whoever is speaking, and follow them around if they move, which is otherwise limited to iPads and Macs packing Apple Silicon. Of course, you'll need compatible hardware and software to take advantage of continuity camera and macOS Ventura. Specifically, it requires an iPhone running iOS 16 or later, and a Mac running macOS 13, Aka Ventura, or later. Also, many of the continuity camera software features require an iPhone XR, released in 2018, or later model. 3. Passkeys are here to kill the password. If you spend more time than you'd like trying to guess reset your own passwords, the new passkey feature debuting in macOS Ventura could make your life a lot less stressful. Apple is pitching passkeys as the first step into a password-less future, and if they work as advertised that future looks pretty bright. Passkeys work, in macOS Ventura, Epado 16 and iOS 16, by using your Mac or iPhone's Face ID Touch ID sensors to securely verify your identity, then log you into a website. This means that every time you would create a new account online somewhere with an email and password, you'll have the option to create a passkey instead of the password. Then, when you try to log back into that account again, a prompt will pop up asking you to verify your identity via Face ID Touch ID. According to Apple passkeys are only stored locally on your Mac, which should be a bit more secure than having a password stored on a server somewhere. They also sync across your iCloud keychain, so a passkey created on your iPhone should work just fine on your iPad or Mac, and vice versa. Apple also claims to be using end-to-end -end encryption for passkeys, which means nobody, not even Apple, should have an easy time accessing them. 4. Mail Mail now builds in features that used to be available only in third-party apps. For example, you can recall a message during the first 10 seconds after you send it. You can mark messages with reminder notices that will make the message reappear in your inbox at the time you choose. You can schedule a message to send at a later time. And Mail, like Thunderbird and other email apps, will let you know if you mention an attachment in a message and forget to attach it before the message sends. 5. Messages 
Messages lets you edit or unsend a message up to 15 minutes after sending it, a feature that gives messages the same kind of safety net that I've learned to value in Facebook Messenger. You can add multiple collaborators to documents and spreadsheets by sending a single invitation that applies to everyone in a message thread. 6. Spotlight. Apple keeps finding ways to make its apps more convenient by combining their features. Spotlight now lets you open a quick look preview when press the spacebar on an item in a find list, just as you can already do in the Macos Finder. Spotlight also lets you search for photos on your Mac by searching for their locations, and find your cat photos by searching for cat. 7. System Preferences The Mac OS System Toolkit gets a new look, more like the Settings app in iOS, with a column of controls like Wi-Fi, General, and Wallpaper on the left, each opening onto a generously sized panels listing relevant options. The About This Mac app is still available from the Apple menu, but it's also conveniently part of system preferences. 8. FaceTime Start a FaceTime call on your iOS device, bring the device next to your Mac, and the call can instantly transfer to your Mac with its larger screen. FaceTime will also offer live captioning, a feature that Apple marks with a word beta, suggesting that you shouldn't expect perfection. 9. Iclid Photos and Reminders you can now share a photo library from your Eclid with family members, and every collaborator can add or edit the library a feature that may prompt you to keep a backup library for yourself. You can now pin lists in the same way you can pin your favorite contacts and messages, and you can create templates that you can use when creating new lists. 10. Gaming gets better with Metal 3. Metal 3 is due out alongside Mac OS Ventura late in 2022, and it could improve the state of gaming on Macs in a big way. Metal is the API developers use when they want to optimize an application's graphical performance on Apple devices, as it's designed to give programmers fine-grained control over how the GPU in your Mac or iPhone displays things on the screen. The fact that Apple's releasing the third major version alongside Mac OS Ventura is especially exciting, because Metal 3 will give devs all new ways to tap into the power of Apple Silicon. Well, we'll have to wait and see what developers can do with this new toolset to know how much of a difference it will make. Apple has already advertised some exciting new features making their debut in Metal 3. These include faster resource loading, new upscaling features and optimized ray tracing, as well as more efficient shader compilation. That's a lot of technical ways of saying Metal 3 should help devs make games that look prettier and run better on your Mac.